The goal of Canada's health charities is simple and straightforward. A healthier Canada. That's why every day we're supporting the 87% of Canadians who are likely to be affected by chronic disease or major illness in their lifetime. We are Health Partners, a collaboration of 16 of Canada's most trusted and respected health charities, representing some of the most devastating chronic diseases and serious illnesses faced by Canadians. Since 1988, our campaigns have raised over $170 million for life-saving research, services and programs. We couldn't have done it without the generous support of public servants like you. For that, we say thank you. Uh, my uh, son met me in the driveway after a soccer game and uh, started to ask me, Dad, what was wrong with your right hand? Uh, you weren't swinging it when you ran. And I didn't even notice a thing. And, uh, okay, there's something more to this than just making fun of the old man or something like that. Found out in uh, June 2010 from a neurologist in Peterborough. After a 20-minute exam and three year, like almost a year later, uh, he said I had Parkinson's. And uh, that's when it happened and uh, changed my life. It's a bad spot to be in. Uh, my daughter looked me square in the eyes and said, Dad, is this gonna... Is this gonna affect me? And that's when, that's when it really... That's when it really hit hard, because I didn't have an answer for it at the time. I, it was a bad, it was a bad scene altogether at the beginning. I ran into uh, a, a, a lady who was younger than me, had been fighting this uh, for three years longer than before I was diagnosed. And after not eating or sleeping for three days, uh, I had a two hour meeting with her and the first thing she said, Jamie, I'm sorry, but here's what you're going to do. You're going to meet with us in three days. I said, us? <laughs> and, oh yes, we have a group. We get together once uh, every third Sunday at uh, Loyalist College and uh, we sit down and we, and we talk. It's a very informal thing. Say the things you want to say and keep to yourself if you want. These people are nothing short of, of amazing. Jamie, it is a serious disease. There, it is progressive, and it will uh, become more of a presence in your life, but it's not all doom and gloom, but you still have a life, and you got a life worth living, and uh, you were about to become something you had no idea you were gonna be. Within uh, two years, I was co-chairing the Super Walk in Belleville. I was exercising more, I was taking better care of myself than I ever did, but when I realized how the things I'm doing are affecting other people in a positive way, so I have to fight it publicly. I have to fight it personally. There are uh, 100,000 Canadians that are diagnosed with this. They need help. They need support at home. They need to re realize that Parkinson's Canada is there. I, I, got, I may have got this and it affects every part of my life and it's a, it's a horrible disease. But if there's any reasons for it, it's, th it's things like that. And Parkinson's Canada has been an absolute uh, uh, beacon of hope for the rest of us. You don't realize how devastated you are until how strong you become. Uh, when you think some of the things are about to take over and you have nowhere to turn, there's always one, but you, the true strength is that knowing when you have to ask for help. This is your fight, but you are not alone. I promise you, you're not alone. As long as I can still answer a phone and be a smart ass or, or make somebody else smile or laugh through this, we're gonna fight this, we're gonna beat it. Don't let it take over.